I'm Steve Ember with In the News in VOA Special English. Americans gave an estimated $260,000 million to charity last year. That was an increase of 6% over 2004. The Giving USA Foundation says about half the increase resulted from giving after natural disasters. Hurricane Katrina and other severe storms hit the Gulf Coast. There was the earthquake in Pakistan and the effects of the Indian Ocean tsunami. The United States has more than one million philanthropic organizations, including churches and other religious groups. Individual giving is the single biggest way American charities get money. More than three-fourths of their money last year came from individuals. But no one has ever given more than Warren Buffett is about to give. The 75-year-old investor is worth an estimated $44,000 million. This week, he announced he will give most of that away. The majority is to go to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to improve health and education around the world. In all, five organizations will receive shares in his Berkshire Hathaway Holding Company in Nebraska. The Chronicle of Philanthropy calls Mr. Buffett's gift the largest in philanthropic history. The newspaper says Bill Gates and his wife Melinda held the record until now. The word philanthropy comes from Greek and Latin. It means a love of humankind, especially as shown through an act like giving to charity. One early American philanthropist was Benjamin Franklin. When he died in 1790, he left some of his wealth to the cities of Philadelphia and Boston. Another was Andrew Carnegie. The Carnegie Steel Company made him the world's richest man. But in the early 1900s, he gave away most of his money. He gave money to build more than 2,000 public libraries. He started organizations to further scientific research and other knowledge and to support international peace. Today, American philanthropists include the Hungarian-born George Soros. His Open Society Institute supports activities in more than 50 countries. But he is also known for his activism in American politics. Another modern-day philanthropist is the media personality Oprah Winfrey. Her Oprah's Angel Network supports non-profit groups. Still another is Larry Ellison, chief of the software company Oracle. He was in the news this week not for giving, but for taking back an offer. Mr. Ellison had offered $115 million to Harvard University to create a global health foundation. He has now canceled the gift after the resignation of Harvard President Larry Summers. Reports say he is expected to make another offer in the near future. In the News in VOA Special English was written by Nancy Steinbach. To learn more about Warren Buffett's gift, go to voaspecialenglish.com and listen Monday at this time to the Development Report. I'm Steve Embry.